We are live. So we are our Lake Bonneville. 20,000 years ago, this land was underwater, not far to the north. You can see the old shore of Lake Bonneville. Formed in a basin from which no river which reached the ocean. This became the largest lake in North America. Finally, the lake moved high enough to overflow into the Snake River. Then, after the climate got drier, the Great Basin of Utah and Nevada became mostly a desert. The lake receded. Salt Lake and two other remnants are all that are left of this old 20,000 square mile lake. Sorry about that. I was concentrating on the... Yeah. I wasn't concentrating on the video, making a video. So good to know. This, this is where we are. And uh, so right now... We're just gonna walk around, have coffee and uh, cigarettes. I know uh, Seinfeld, he drinks coffee, doesn't smoke cigarettes, but uh, I'm not Seinfeld. But one thing me and Seinfeld do have in, uh, in common is that uh, I think, uh, you know, both of our lives is uh, one big joke, you know? My life is one big joke. So I can relate to Jerry Seinfeld. Wow. Looks like uh, that snow is receding on top of those, that mountain. Is that a mountain really? Not really. That's like a big hill. I guess when you... Uh, for whatever reason, I'm always thinking about Mount Everest. And uh, I, I compare all mountains to Mount Everest. And uh, so that's why some people think these mountains are mountains and I just call them big hills. Because I could literally go up that mountain. I don't know. Maybe I can't. Maybe it, it's way too far and it, it's way bigger than it looks. But it's not that. It's not impossible for me to go to the top over there. It really isn't. Because I could see it. It's near, dear, fucking. Nothing is impossible. I know. I realize that. And, um,. Okay, there's a kid over there. Okay, I guess we're not going this way. And if I go this way and there's cages, it looks like I'm trespassing, so I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna look suspicious, but look at this fire hydrant. Make sure I don't wanna walk into shit or snakes. That's cool. Check this out. Is that even a fire hydrant or just like a water well pump or water? I don't know. Not sure. <clears throat> it just looks super old. Except the bolts, they look, uh, they, they look like they were replaced recently, maybe years ago. Because if it's super, super old, it would have been rusted or something. That's my ride, folks. All blacked out. I decided to uh, name my car Kobe. So her, her name is Kobe right there.
inspired by the late Kobe Bryant. Because whenever I'm in that black mamba over there, it's, uh, and I listen to uh, Kobe Bryant. Now, I don't watch Kobe Bryant play. You know, I, I did, and, you know, it's all good. I love watching it. But I mostly listen to Kobe, and uh, people think that he's born talented. <clears throat> You know, uh, but that's not, oh, that might be true, but no, I don't, it's not true actually. Because I, I remember him talking about his first game uh, he ever played, he lost. And then uh, he got back, worked on the fundamentals. And after a, f a few years later, working on fundamentals and constantly being terrible, and then they all caught up to him. And, uh, Kobe was fucking sick. He woke up before the sun came up, he got to the gym, and started going at it. And uh, kind of right, reminds me of Dwayne Johnson and Will Smith. <clears throat> so these guys wake up before anybody else, and uh, And they go hard, they go at it. They, they have a mission, they don't just wake up and uh, hit the uh, uh, snooze alarm. You know, they wake up before the alarm. Hey, hold on. And um, yeah. I'll, uh, you know, because I, I always thought that Kobe Bryant was just straight up born talented, but it's it's maybe some of it it's true, but it's not the way Kobe describes talking about it. I think uh, we say that he's talented just because it's an easy way out, so we look for an excuse not to do it. You know, only Kobe Bryant can do it. Only uh, you know LeBron James can do it. Stephen Curry can do it. But I can't do it. <clears throat> and that's not true, man. You just haven't put in the time they put in. And it's not right that we can, you know, try to even compare ourselves to other people like that. You know, you just have, we haven't put in the time. And it's not because they're talented or smarter or, you know, or better looking or whatever it is. <clears throat> We just haven't put in, put in the time. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm making videos, put in the time. It's It could be the worst video ever. You know, terrible quality, video, uh, lighting, sound. I'm shooting with my iPhone 10 Apple. But, you know. Ugh. Just trying to make as many mistakes as I can. I want to fail. I want to fail fast. And I want to fail small and learn from that. I never want to fail so big that it wipes me out. So I'm just trying to do, make mistakes. That's why I'm recording so hard. And um, honestly, I'm just working on myself. I'm trying to get, get over being embarrassed and shy, you know, believe it or not, I am not a talker. All my life I've been staying away from people. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I was that guy. When people looked at me, people always assumed that somebody died because I always had that face. I was always in depression mode and that was my home. Because I thought that was normal. That's who, I, that's who I was. But I told myself that my whole life, um, you know, this is who I am, yeah? you know, life fucking sucks, and uh, you're, uh, um, I have this feeling of, uh, uh, you know, not suicidal, not mental, um, you know, just grief, sad, depressed, 
lonely, um, shy, um, you know, always feeling not good enough, but not, not always hating life because TV was a, a way to escape. And I watched a lot of comedies and stand-ups, you know, like Bernie Mac and shit. And yeah, man, he's fuck. I'm just done dwelling. I'm, I'm over it. Because I had enough practice of dwelling. And I think I'm done. And uh, I don't care what happens, you know. How do I resolve this and let's move on? You know, how do I learn from it so it doesn't happen again? And what, what can I learn from this mistake? I like this. This is like my fortress of solitude. Nobody's around me, you know. Just cars driving by. I'm near the exit, so nobody really walking through this way because that's the exit right there. So there's no reason for anybody to come over here. I just don't want to be too close to that truck and thinks that uh, I'm trying to steal his shit or something. <clears throat> this, is, this is in the Fast Furious movie. I don't want to jack up your shit. Is this even recording? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, man. <sighs> I'm about 12 hours away from Portland. And, um, as soon as I get there, I gotta shave, you know, cut my nails, take a shower, um, and then tomorrow go job hunting, Tuesday. And then uh, I'm still gonna keep doing this, you know, no matter what I'm doing, I'm gonna keep uh, documenting my life. <clears throat> and um, yeah. And uh, thanks for watching.